Welcome to our lecture online. How do we work with light bulbs when we're trying to find the current or the resistance or the power of a light bulb? Well, typically when you're given a light bulb, they tell you what the power rating is of the light bulb. Now here we have a picture or a drawing of an incandescent light bulb and those things are quickly disappearing because they're not near as efficient as the fluorescent bulbs that we use these days. But the principle still holds true. Let's say that we have a light bulb that's rated at 60 watts and let's say that the power supply or the voltage supplied, I should say, is equal to 120 volts. Now typically with household circuits, we have AC current, but just for the moment, let's say we have a DC current here and we have a light bulb rated at 60 watts. We're trying to find the current flowing to the light bulb and we're trying to find the resistance of the light bulb. Well, the way to do that is to start with the power equation since we're given the power of the light bulb and we know that the power, P, is equal to I squared R. Now, if we use that in conjunction with Ohm's law that tells us that I is equal to V over R and then we take Ohm's law and we rewrite that equation as R is equal to V divided by I and then take that form of the Ohm's law equation and substitute that in for the resistance in the power equation, we get the following equation. We get the power is equal to I squared times R, which can be written as V divided by I. And then we see that one of the I's cancel out and the power is then equal to the product as I times V. This equation is usually used by considering the power supplied to the light bulb or the power supplied to the device by the power source. So typically we use this equation when we say power supplied. Now from that we can then say well if we know the power rating of the light bulb and we know the voltage applied to the light bulb we can then take I which is equal to the power divided by the voltage. In this case the power is 60 watts and the voltage is 120 volts so that would be equal to 0.5 amps which means that if you apply 120 volts to a light bulb that's rated to 60 watts, it will carry a current of 0.5 amps. In other words, a current of 0.5 amps will be pushed through the light bulb. Now we're ready to find the resistance because once we know the current and we know the voltage, we can use Ohm's law to find the resistance. So now using this equation here, we can say R is equal to V divided by I. That's equal to 120 volts divided by a current of 0.5 amps which means that this light bulb has a resistance of 240 ohms. And so that's how we find the current and the resistance of a light bulb given the power rated rating of the light bulb and the voltage supplied. And that's how it's done.